Getting over another major hurdle. The ascent vehicle of the Chang'e 5, carrying the lunar samples, rendezvoused and docked with the vessel's orbiting modules Sunday morning, Beijing time. It was the first time that China has been able to accomplish this in lunar orbit. The command center will control the two docking modules when they are far from each other, but due to the long distance and time delay, our measuring equipment is unable to reach the accuracy requirement to obtain parameters such as speed and position when the two modules get closer and closer. Therefore, the docking phase needs to be conducted autonomously. Thirty minutes after the docking, the ascent vehicle transferred the sample container to the return module, which will bring the samples to Earth. The spacecraft will then stay in orbit for a few days, waiting for an optimal window to return to Earth. After reaching the Earth orbit, the return module will bounce off the atmosphere before taking a final plunge. Bouncing off the atmosphere will slow down the module to reduce its landing impact load and help increase its landing accuracy. The careful timing of this maneuver will allow the spacecraft to send the return module back to our planet within a predetermined time frame. If all goes well, China will soon embark on the final stage of its mission to bring the first lunar samples to Earth in 44 years. Tang Bo, CGTN. Beijing.